Hi, Prosperity Team. It's Dr. Money. I'm coming from the abundance corner of the universe. Now, sometimes I'm wacky, and sometimes I'm wise, and sometimes I'm tacky, and sometimes I'm full of surprise. I never know what it's going to be. But one thing for sure, we like to take the first few moments of the Good Night video to visualize prosperity living for us and all others. And so let's do there. We're going, let's do that. Let's go into the circle of well being. And we do that through the breath by breathing in deeply all the way down to the belly and breathing out in and out. Breathe through your nose, actually, it's better to breathe through your nose. And just continue to breathe as I speak, knowing that as we breathe in, we breathe in the sense of well being. And as we breathe out, we send out our intention that all beings be happy, that all beings live in abundance, that all beings be prosperous. So breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in the good and breathing it out to others. It's our spiritual imperative not just to be a me show. We want to be a me we show, a me we show. Humans are herd animals and we need to develop together, me and we. And so it is. I wanna to talk tonight about another prosperity buster, and that is the belief that life is fair. Overarching our entire life, there is a goodness. Overarching everything, there is a goodness, there is an order. However, we take the thought life is fair and think that we should see everything being fair tit for tat right there but it, it's not it's not going to show up that way life is fair but it doesn't show up for example i might be overlooked for a job that i'm more qualified from somebody else than someone else and they would say but that's not fair life is just not fair life is not fair and i've heard people say well we've never promised life was fair and it it is not fair when we just look at one incident but when we join a spiritual journey, what we begin to realize is the things in which we feel like we were overlooked, that we look at ourselves, see what's going on, and we see if there's some kind of gift that we can get from the situation or if we can win from the situation because that moves us back away from the life is not fair belief to there's something here for me, there's something I, I can learn. And I don't believe in suffering. However, I do believe that once the incident has happened, that is very difficult, then it's time for us to learn from it. Then it's time for us to get from it. So beware and don't start saying, life is not fair, life is not fair. Don't, don't say that. As I'm saying, it is fair, but at more of a universal sense. It, the fairness overarches our entire lives. How many times has something happened to you that you felt was bad and you look back and thought, well, if that didn't happen, then this wouldn't happen and that wouldn't have happened. And that's how life becomes fair. But when we say life is not fair, we're looking at just the tiny event, just one event in our lives or one page in the chapter of the whole book of our lives. So beware of the thought that life is fair and don't let it support your belief that the universe is doing you wrong because the universe is always on your side and it has your back. Life is good all the time, but sometimes we can't see it because we're looking through dirty windows and that's okay. We don't have to know why things happen. We don't have to know anything about it. People, a lot of times something bad will happen and I hear somebody saying, well, I need to really learn this lesson again because I don't want this to happen again. And it's like, even that, that point of view is, 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 is not going to get it. The thing to do is in, in that particular thing, rather than saying I'm going to learn this lesson so I can move on and this will never happen, is to accept that it has happened and move on with grace. Because what happens if we say I am, I'm going to learn this lesson, I don't want this to happen anymore, is that that's resistance. And we all know what happens with resistance. With resistance, we attract things into our lives like a magnet. So we don't want to resist things. We want to accept. We don't want to resign. Resignation is different from acceptance. Acceptance means I'm not going to let this bother me anymore. I'm going to move on. Acceptance means I'm not going to be thinking about this, whining about this, be upset about this. I'm not going to be dragging this emotion around with me all the time. I'm going to move on. And so, 
It doesn't matter whether life is fair in my perception or not fair in my perception. What does matter is how much emotional stuff I was carrying from moment to moment. Because when I carry something from the past, when I get upset, it makes my ability to enjoy the present moment disappear. We don't want to have disappearing joy, do we? Of course not. We want it to be present. And it is always present. There are times to grieve, but in general, there's much more time for joy in our lives than there is for pain. This is Dr. Money. I hope that you'll question that thought, life is fair, and not use it as a prosperity buster. Take care, and remember for sure that I love you.